Starbucks is now the latest major chain to announce it's phasing out plastic straws. And boy, did you have something to say about that. Within an hour of us posting that story on our Facebook page, we had 200 comments. Pam says, what about plastic bags, disposable diapers, plastic bottles, and all those coffee cups? Let's start with bigger problems than a straw. While Ted believes anything not biodegradable should be banned. There are alternatives, he says, such as hemp and other natural materials. Well, tonight, Denver 7's Sally Mamdu takes a 360 look at the move away from plastics and why the pressure is mounting and why many of us are still not convinced. Underneath the serenity of the ocean is plastic waste invading the water. Images that are slowly turning the tide on the plastic industry, leading Starbucks, one of the nation's biggest coffee giants, to announce it will be phasing out plastic straws from all of its stores by 2020. To put this into context, the changes are predicted to cut down more than a billion plastic straws per year. The Starbucks move is among the latest efforts by companies taking their own initiative to save the environment. We really wanted to get rid of the plastic straws. Supporter Lee, good friend, owner of the Denver restaurant Racines, is glad to see Starbucks joining the ranks. Last month, she started using paper straws, eliminating hundreds of plastic straws used per day. 700 to probably 1,000 a day. Now we're going through maybe less than 100. By comparison, governments are also turning more green. Take the city of Boulder, for instance. They can't pass laws banning plastic products by law. That has to come from the state. But they have a plethora of policies related to waste, like its universal zero waste ordinance that mandates residents participate in recycling and composting. The disposable bag fee that requires a 10 cent fee for disposable plastic and paper checkout bags at all grocery stores. And the trash tax that goes to reduction waste efforts. Plastic Plastic straws never break down. They're a constant. Selena Collins is the board president of the environmental group TEG that works to protect natural resources from deteriorating. Collins says while Starbucks initiative is a positive step towards saving the environment, the problem of waste is much more than a plastic straw. They're an element of our culture of single-use plastic, of everything's disposable, use it once and toss it and never think about it again. So what would this all mean to the plastic industry? We reached out to the Plastics Industry Association and they tell us, quote, plastic products are lighter and more efficient than many alternatives, which reduces their environmental footprint by reducing waste, energy use, and carbon emissions. That's why plastics are being used increasingly in fields like healthcare, transportation, and construction. Going on to add, quote, the plastics industry agrees that this is a serious issue that requires a serious solution. Blaming straws doesn't change the underlying behavior, which is litter. Banning straws does little to meaningfully reduce litter and gives a false sense of accomplishment, which is much more harmful in the long run. So to bring it back into perspective, while some are praising Starbucks for getting rid of its iconic green straws for a more green environment, others argue the problem with polluted oceans lies in our culture of our excessive reliance on plastics and our inability to properly dispose what we're used to seeing as disposable. In Denver, Sally Mamdu, Denver 7.